Welcome to the Bootleg Zones. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine certainly gets a lot of interesting knockoffs, and he gets turned into a lot of things. So, yeah, here's what happens when he turns into a monster truck. This one does have a company attached to it, which is Zhu Zingming, I guess, and they even have their own little logo. I tried looking these guys up, I didn't come up with a whole lot, but there are other electronic Thomas knockoffs, which maybe they were involved with. Like the Sonic Gun. Talk about turning Thomas into shit, right? This one is kind of creepy too with how it constantly tells you that this is for kids. I mean, I guess who else would a Thomas the Tank Engine thing be for, but it's a little weird when it's a gun. This product is most welcome among kids, especially for little hands. Just get the fuck away from the kids, Sonic Gun. What the hell does it shoot? Thomas's face? Anyway, back to the more normal Thomas knockoffs like this. What the fuck? The first class stunt performance high-end technology manufacturing two colors for your choose. Wow, that sure is a bunch of word don't yeah, that bastard James is taking over again. Cool flashlight! Wow, I hope this stupid thing actually works as a flashlight. Anyway, here's the Thomas James Super Abomination Unleashed. And, uh, just... What the fuck, man? What the fuck? You really didn't need the two faces. You creep me out enough with the one. So, um, yeah, this is a monster truck train. I don't know if the makers of this thing really understand what trains are, or monster trucks, one or the other. Then again, these people don't understand the concept of having one face. I just, uh, I barely know what the fuck I'm looking at with this one. Remember that episode of Thomas Tank Engine where he grew two faces and then started arguing with himself the whole episode? <gasps> that was disturbing and weird. Alright, let's see if we get a stolen song or some other magical nonsense when we turn this shit on. <laughs> Supposed to sound like it's a dying version of No Limits? What the fuck? Man, I'm almost tempted to say that those weren't quality batteries they gave me. Well, let's see if the RC thing works while it tries to spit out There's No Limits. The RC remote is working, but getting no response. Maybe I'll have to try and put in real batteries. <clears> hmm. <throat> This is just uh, 
This is so pathetic, and with it constantly spurting out, no, 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 it sounds like it's begging to be put out of its misery. Guess I'd better get myself a sonic gun. Well, I tried putting real batteries in this thing, and guess what? Nothing. What a picky piece of shit. Guess I am gonna have to try and fuck with that stupid AC thing. All right, after putting in an AC adapter that I can actually use and trying to charge this thing, guess what? Still nothing. Fucking piece of garbage. So, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Um, pretend it's moving. Here, I'll make it move. Oh, look. Oh, I... Fucking RC, yeah, wow, that's some good, whoa, look at it go. No, 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 I won't work. No, 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 I'm a piece of crap. Yeah, and that's what it's supposed to do while it's doing its stupid fucking electronic functions spin it around that's why he has two faces apparently the double faces of doom you with this piece of crap fucking shit and i guess it goes up on its fucking ass and moves around there because it's got a wheel on that whoa look at it go uh, i can get the lights to turn on a little yeah Fucking amazing! Love this toy! Apparently the batteries don't even matter. Yeah! No limits to how much I can spin this! What a fucking toy! Fucking Thomas! Yeah! But the RC functions won't work with it plugged in, apparently. All I can do is just Spin it and force the motor a little bit to make lights turn on. <laughs> so, I don't know. Either this video is disappointing or it went the way you like if you like it better when these things are just complete piles of shit. <laughs> and just for the record, yes, I did try to just let it sit there and try and recharge these piece of crap batteries for a while. It just won't do anything anymore. But I mean, really, do we actually need it to do anything more than that? <laughs> yes, we did! Alright, Sharp Hand Joe, you big bully! Your scooping ways are about to come to an end! Oh, you just think you're so good, don't you, he man? I bet you can't see this and keep your cool! The evil stick? I thought I got rid of that! Ugh! <laughs> uh, where am I? Have I been here before? Huh. I don't remember this being here before. You're in the other world. A world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Dude! Did that guy rip off my arms? Oh, thank goodness! Magnon! Huck! Something really weird's going on! <laughs> that didn't just happen. I gotta find a way out of here! The railroad! Thomas will help me! Thomas! Or, uh, uh, James, uh, I guess James is the red one. Whoever the hell you are, help me! What the? Wow! Thought transformable Thomas. This was a rather weird ending skit. You're telling me? What the shit? What the shit is that? Uh, also, what the shit are you? What the shit is any of this? Ah, oh, I quit.
updated Thomas Super. What? I got some bootleg Pokemon cards at a dollar store by me, so let's take a look at these Breakpoint bootlegs. Well, some of these cards just make it so tough to tell that there's something wrong. Okay, so Servine here's got an ability, Serpentine Strangle. As often as you like during your turn, before your attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your Wormadem to another of your Pokemon. Well, that doesn't quite seem right. Oh, what a shock. That is not what Serpentine Strangle usually does. It'd be pretty odd if this ability assumed I had that other Pokemon in play. Fonts on a lot of these things, like the flavor text, isn't exactly correct compared to the real ones as well. So I have to read things like this in a slightly different font, which is really the main problem with it. A slim and fast swimmer, it slices its prey with its sharp sickles and drinks the body fluids. <laughs> Some Pokemon are really scary when you read these things. Once wrapped around its prey, it never lets go. It eats the prey by tearing it with sharp fangs. Do not fuck with Omastar. We'll open this shiny Mega Gyarados here first. Hopefully we get one of those. I bet it'll be worth a lot on the bootleg scene. Oh, shit, guys. That's actually kind of cool to me pulling this stupid foil Zapdos in this bootleg package here because in my first package of base set Pokemon cards, I got the Zapdos card. In fact, it was this one right here. These two cards are worth exactly the same. So we got Servine, Lucario, Jigglypuff, Kabutops, Marowak, White Curium, Burmy, Omastar, and Fairy Garden. All right, let's see what's in another pack. And oh yeah, shiny Wormpole. I guess not shiny, hollow Wormpole. It's not shiny, that'd take me like 8,000 or so tries to get a shiny. This is the hollow foil common everybody wants with its diamond pattern so you know it's real. So yeah, we also got Rinculus, Duosion, Solosis, Gothita, it's pretty nice how you say that one, people be mad, Grumpig, Snubble, Cottony, Whimsicott, ooh, Meowth. Got myself another bootleg Meowth card, yeah! That is some pretty awesome Meowth artwork on here. I should get a real one sometime. Holy crap, look at the artwork on the Snubble card here. That's awfully blurry. Let's see what we got in the Mega Caesar pack. First off, Togekiss. Ooh, they changed up the hollow foil pattern on this one. It's kind of got like an atomic thing or something. It's kind of neat, I guess. Doesn't look legit at all, and you can also see it shining through Togekiss on there, but yep. Kind of neat. Ooh, I'm not real. All right, besides him, we got Zygarde. Wow, as a dog? I know Zygarde had other forms, but I'm glad I'm first seeing this new Zygarde form on a stupid bootleg card. <clears throat> Alright, cool. And Zygarde's only an uncommon regular. I guess, whatever. Carbink with some nice uh, printing errors there. That's cool. Stupid Carbink. Carbink again. Someone's yelling at me that it's not pronounced Carbank, probably, but I'm gonna keep saying Carbank. Hawk Lucha doing a backflip, which is appropriate. Lucario again, getting all aura y and stuff. We already had Rinculus, Duosian, Solosis, and Gothita. Really? We had all these in the other packs. Screw these! Just look at that mess. 
I guess Dog Zyger just being an uncommon is correct. <laughs> That's just weird. All right, last pack to look through, and it's another Mega Gyarados because I didn't see that weird golden Luxray break point thingy. So our hollow is Ninjas, and he's got that kind of atomic looking hollow foil pattern that the Togekiss did. And we got the Dome Fossil Kabuto, Energy Pouch, Mega Catcher, and apparently this is the trainer card pack, Old Amber Aerodactyl, coughing. Oh, look at that silly guy. Wheezing, because I guess they just really love giving us evolution lines in these packs. A Mew? Well, that makes up for all the trainer cards. Look at that little guy. He knows he's a big jerk who you couldn't catch legitimately until you did a glitch in the first game. <laughs> oh, you. No, seriously. Look for me under the truck. He wasn't under a truck. <gasps> Wormadam! No, oh, wait, no. Mew! Yeah, Mew! Woohoo! So, yeah, pretty certain this Mew should be hollow foil, but nah, this is the uh, even more ultra super mega rare regular Mew! Woohoo! I mean, if you had to say one is better, I think we can all agree that it's stupid bootleg regular Mew. We're tired of our motto, so we thought we'd try a song. I'm glad one of these cards has James's parents on them, and that uh, his mother looks nothing like Jesse. That right there is the face of a man who just realizes he has a giant Oedipus complex. I mean, if you want to believe James is straight. These breakpoint bootlegs also let me down extremely. Like, the Servine was the second one I thought, so I thought, oh, there's gonna be a bunch with the wrong abilities, and then this was the only one? Damn you! Oh well, Mew makes everything better. Also meow. But hey, the Pokemon on the top of these pencils are ones that don't get a whole lot of bootleg love. Krabby and Executor. Unfortunately, this isn't that wacky Aloha form Executor. You just gotta deal with this one having a long butt instead of a long neck. That's one doofy looking crabby. Crab butt. <laughs> These two chews look like they're made by most likely the same bootleggers. They look almost exactly the same, got the same type of keychain on them, and got that exact same stayed up all night, forgot to shave look. And then there's this one that is the devil. Don't look into his eyes. His soulless black eyes. Also, he's kind of got that stupid little dingo pictures butt nose thing going on. <laughs> and I do not believe for one second that that demon really means that peace sign. But hey, its keychain is a little bit longer, so it's got that bonus. All right, Doofy Muppet Dragonite, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Okay, I choose you. Long butt crabby. In that case, I choose you, pencil butt executor. Pencil butt crabby. Use pencil butt attack. Counter that executor with pencil butt attack. Return! Return! Well, that sucked! <laughs> yup! Go! Shit at you! In that case, I'll use Shit at you! Quick, Shit at you! Use Don't Fall Over Attack! It's super effective! In that case, use Don't Fall Over Attack, Shit at you! Oops! Not very effective. Haha, <laughs> looks like I win this round or something. Screw you, I'm gonna use two of my pizza chews. Well, I only got one of those, but it happens to be a demon. You fools, 
have wasted your time sitting around here playing games. Your souls now all belong to me. Uh, oops. Yeah, I think we made a little mistake here. Um, well, I got one more Pokemon left, a, a real Charizard. We can see how that goes. So, uh, real Charizard, yeah! I will be back at the greater numbers. You stupid st So these two oddball cards say they were put out by a company called... Cardass? Really? ...watching, and we'll see you in the morning. M-A-G-A.